Hey folks, Jarek here and today is the beginning of my three days trip for the fossils and we came to Poland and we will visit lots of locations like Permian, Devonian, Miocene, Jurassic and all the other goodies. Uh, the guys already are looking for fossils, I'm not alone here. The one in uh, yellow is Tomek, the one in blue is Lukasz, the white one and the black one are both Jakubs. And it's my turn to go down and I'm super stoked about this trip. I was waiting for a long time to get here and first I, first I need to get to the guys and we will like, inspect the locations. This is how the sedimentary lock, rocks are looking and yeah, hopefully today we will find a trilobite and the guys are not wasting any time. <laughs> Started smacking rocks right away. <laughs> so good luck for us. I had very little experience looking for fossils in rock quarries at the time. I still didn't know which kind of rocks are worth splitting open and which not. So naturally, instead of asking, I just started smacking first rock that got into my eye. Pyrite. Fossil false gold. Interesting concretion. From the top, sign of a fossil. Probably some sort of mollusk. So first luck, okay. two globellas of trilobites, but I'm not sure if I will be able to excavate them safely. There's one, eyes and, and the head, and there's one from the side. Quite it. Eyes, Sharon, eyes. And it's mine. Okay, made this piece smaller and we did a return to the backpack. This is awesome. Two cephalopons. When I will clean them, they will be a little bit better presentable. Sweet. Yep, to the backpack and we will return for more. Off we go. When I hunt in Lithuania, process is finding a rock, then splitting a rock, and then go look around for more rocks to split. But here you have a mountain. No more walking to and looking for rocks to split. Here we have a, to remove layer by layer from these cliffs to find fossils. And the day was extra hot. And after a little bit of more looking, there's one more trial by a head looking at me. We'll try to excavate this one as well. Maybe preppable. Tomek is also looking. But not much luck so far. <laughs> and stomach scores, a little bit ahead with ice and everything. Oh man, it's so hot today. Best find of the day yet, I found Jakub and it is a teeth of a shark. How old? Irmalat? Oh, to come to the to to the to the to to the to the the Cladocella shark, Stethacanthus shark and Xenacanthus shark are three types of sharks that existed during the Devonian period, and this tooth belongs to one of them. Judging by the look of the tooth, it's clear that this shark was a predator. Big congrats to Jakob on spotting this ancient relic. It's insanely rare as shark fossils as old as this one are very rare. After some time, I did spot Orthoceras fossil as well, but it wasn't complete and was quite beat up, so I decided to leave it in the quarry. Still need fine to show. And Jakub is on fire today, second best find of the day. <laughs> it is what? <laughs> so it is? Uh, Konyat. Konyat, so it's uh, primitive ammonite. Uh, or Clemenium. Or Clemenium. There you go. 
lucky bastard. <laughs> I didn't get all the footage of all the finds at the moment, but these are some of Lukas' best finds. Quite a bit of trilobite pieces and other goodies. And it's 6 o'clock already in the evening and we want to check one more location. Yeah, it was very hot, we did drink a lot of water. So there wasn't a lot of finds, some still was worth it because, you know, this is Devonian site. I don't have a lot of Devonian fossils, to be honest, I don't have zero Devonian fossils. So that was a nice opportunity to get some and now we will go to the car and drive to another location. I have to catch up with these guys. Oh. We did want to visit one more quarry that contained Devonian period fossils, but we didn't have much time. We had a bit over one hour before the sunset to get any fossils. Yeah, but this period is Okay. Yeah. I have collected quite a few pirate concretions, ball and egg shaped. They are very beautiful and I like minerals as well as fossils. But unfortunately at that quarry we didn't get a single decent fossil because of the limited time. The sun did set, we went to our camp, got some food and some needed rest. But that wasn't over yet because next morning we did go to another place, the secret place, which is why I didn't record anything, but I can show you some of the finds from that place, which are amazing, from the Carboniferous period. This is Goniatids, basically very primitive ammonites, golden, piratized, we will make macro photos and I will go at home. This will be a nice addition to my micro fossils collection. <laughs> These are so cute. These tiny prehistoric ammonoids measures maximum 2 mm, so these are juveniles. They are completely fossilized in pyrite and preserved very nicely with all the details still intact. These are my first golden fossils, even though they are tiny. One more carboniferous find, some sort of plant or rather branch of a tree, but I don't have, don't know the name yet, we'll let you know later. Together there is some imprints of shells. Oh, well, maybe it's even not a shell, maybe it's some sort of gastropod. Good size, good find, taking this one home, sweet. My last find is death plate of ostracods. Ostracods are tiny crustaceans and only hard shell drill did preserve in the limestone. They are over 300 million years old, from the Carboniferous period. Next, I will show you Lukas' best finds. He also got tiny goniatides, fully pyrotized. Then some shell imprints. And finally, quite a few specimen, specimens of Orthoceras nautiloids. Also extremely tiny, but also golden, pyrotized, beautiful specimens. When I got home, so far I prepped only one trilobite. As expected, it was only head of the creature. They are most often found because they were molting their exoskeletons. Now it looks very presentable and is ready to go on the display. And that white, white line on the head of the creature is a vein of some sort of mineral, probably quartz. So generally speaking, uh, we will eat and we will go to rest because uh, tomorrow will be another hard day. Tomorrow waits Miocene basically. Quite modern shells, 50 million years old and maybe, if we are extra lucky, shark teeth. And then we'll go to look for echinoids in the Jurassic period, so yeah. Uh, but that's gonna be another video, so see you then. I hope you did enjoy this video. Subscribe to the channel if you did. Next part of this trip is coming out next week. Thanks for watching and bye!